Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of my Football Manager 2016 Let's Play with Southampton. And we've played a few games since the last match, obviously last episode we got thrashed 6-0 by Manchester City and got beat 1-0 by Aston Villa. This started a run of five games without a win, which is never good. I always tend to, to mess up over the Christmas period, and that's again what seems to have happened here. So after the Aston Villa match, we played against Tottenham, and they got a man sent off before there was even any goals. So it was nil nil. They had one less man. They still managed to get two goals. We got one with Shane Long. Two one. We should have won that game definitely. And anyone with if we play against anyone with ten men, I think we should win the game. Then it was time for the FA Cup third round match against West Ham. And this was a really close one on possession and shots and everything, pretty much. But West Ham got a goal in the first half. First first goal and only goal of the game was scored by Enna Valencia on the 23rd minute. And we, we couldn't manage to get one back. So we got knocked out of the FA Cup at the third round. We were obviously meant to get through to... Who were we meant to get through to? So we were meant to reach the sixth round of the FA Cup. We only reached the third round. So it's the second competition where we've not met expectations this season. However, we've exceeded expectations in the Europa League, so that's that's probably a saving grace. Um, next up was Liverpool, who we, are, of course, beat earlier on in the season. We beat them 4-3 with a last-minute goal, if you remember. And they beat us 1-0 in this one. We had more possession, more shots. I did try a defensive tactic for the first half of this game, then switched it up back to my normal tactic. Uh, didn't seem to work. So Daniel Sturridge with their goal, and that was the fifth defeat on the bounce for us. Next up, though, three days later, we played Newcastle, and the run was ended. The, the, the losing run, the run without any wins, was ended. Dusan Tadic starting things off brilliantly. First minute goal, Shane Long getting this, making it 2-0. In the sixth minute, we did concede one. I did think that Newcastle were going to get come back and get it back because it seemed to happen a lot with them in Football Manager 2015, but it didn't happen. So Shane Long is making the score 3-1 with a penalty on the 73rd minute as well. They just edged it on possession. They had way more shots than us. They just didn't, didn't have the clinical edge. And we managed to, to win this one, which was a great result. And then we played Leicester away from home. This is our biggest win in a while. 4-0. Mane, Veltman, Davis and Rodriguez all getting a goal. Pretty even on possession. Our shot accuracy was better, but pretty even on the number of shots that were hard. They missed the penalty with Gokhan in there, which could have changed the game, really, because that would have made it 1-1. But they missed that one, and we took advantage and thrashed them 4-0, basically. And then the last game that I've played was against Stoke City. And as you can see... We got a 1-1 draw. They took the lead with Mamadou Diouf. We equalised Jay Rodriguez with just over 10 minutes to go. We were well on top of possession. They had more shots than us. So I think we probably should have won that one, since we were at home. Shot accuracy was, was better. We just didn't have the, the clinical edge again. So obviously we've had the January transfer window. Whilst... Uh, whilst we've been playing those games and there was lots of interest in our players Mane had quite a few bids which I rejected he's valued at £25.5 million pounds, and I received offers from Bayern, Juventus and Paris Saint-Germain but they, they didn't even reach the £25.5 million pound mark Mane of course was upset at this because I promised him that if we received a suitable offer from Juventus we would sell him but in my mind that wasn't a suitable offer I one it probably sounds ridiculous but I, I want double of what his value is if I'm going to sell him because he's one of our key players so he wasn't happy about it but he's forgotten about it now and he's he's fine about it um, I have actually sold someone and it is a big name where is it there he is sold Gaston Ramirez to buy in for 12 and a half million pounds basically Gaston's done really well for us. He was valued at seven and a half million, so I figured I'd I'd sell him for twelve and a half. That was a it was a good offer to me, and I'd looked around 
because I knew Bayern were interested and I saw this guy from Maccabi Tel Aviv, Eran Eran Zahavi, who we bought in for three million pounds. He's going to be our, our direct replacement for Gaston Ramirez. Can play attacking centre mid. I think he can play on the the left, the right, and up front. So he's he's quite a versatile player. As you can see, he's got some pretty good stats as well. Uh, he's expect his ability is four stars, which you can't really complain about. He is twenty eight years old, and he has been around a bit. If we look at his history, so he looks like he should be a good player for us, and I'm interested to see how he gets on. So he's direct replacement for Ramirez. We did receive other offers for players. We received offers for Jay Rodriguez. I think there's going to be a lot of interest in him in the summer. Obviously, he was being injured um, throughout the trans January transfer window. So not many big clubs wanted to take a risk on that one. But Chelsea, Bayern, Spurs, the list goes on, are interested in him. AC Milan are interested in Munyama. Um, a few teams like Lazio, again, made bids for Jose Font. We've just got loads of players that other teams want, basically. So, we'll get into the standard Liège game in the Europa League. Okay, so here we are for the standard Liège game in the Europa League. And we have two injuries at the moment. Sadio Mane and Briel Mbolo are both out for two weeks with a groin strain. So, Davis comes in to attack in centre midfield for Sergio Mane and Graziano Pelle is back in the squad for Briel Mbolo after having a, a bit of time on the sidelines. So let's get started with the match. Maybe a bit jumpy as my computer has been very slow today. Painfully slow. Eye-gougingly slow. Definitely need a new one. January sales, that's what they're for. New laptops. First highlight of the first half, and it's a throw, and Wanyama intercepts it. Long looking for Pele and finding Pele right on the right side of the pitch. Plays it through the centre to Davis, and he plays it back to Font. Vasiko on the left now to Tadic. And Tadic gets tackled by Beatons and standard Liège with a chance to mount an attack maybe it's Timmermans, Beatons looking for Shoemaker Fierson Cedric intercepts but he gives it straight to Shoemaker it's Jach gives it to Maton it's Maton for standard shoots off the post and Stecklenburg collects it eventually thanks for a little help from Jose Font Pelé Gives it to Classy. Davis. Come on, can this be a chance for us now? He gives that away. Oh, it's a bad back pass, and Pele should have scored that. He wasn't far out, and he should have easily placed that one past the keeper. It was one on one. He fluffed it up. Tadic. Classy. Davis. Gets tackled, but Tadic has got it now. Ta chance to cross. He does. Pele's there. It's Davis. Goal. 1-0. Stephen Davis. That's a lovely away goal for us. Second goal of the season for Stephen Davis. It could be an important one in terms of qualification for the Europa League. Second knockout round. So going to half-time. 1-0 up. And we are playing well. We'll tell them to keep it up. After watch Gratiana Pele, he is looking a bit tired. And Wanyama and Classy aren't playing at their best today. So there could be some changes on the way in the second half. So we've made a couple of changes. Jay Rodriguez has come on for Gratiana Pele and Juanmi has come on for Dusan Tadic. Tadic wasn't having the best of games and Pele was pretty tired. That's the reasons there. Juanmi now on the attack. Looking for long. It's intercepted by Simon. And Veltman collects it for Samson. Wanyama. Long switches it to Classy out wide left of a psycho chance to cross. He does, it's cleared only to Classy. Gives it out wide right to Cedric this time. Wanyama back to Cedric down the line to Long who crosses it in for Rodriguez and it's off the bar. And Wanmi tried to get the rebound and it went wide. 
and this looks like the last play of the game Shoemaker gives her a chance for Standard to get on the attack to Simon and that's going to be a goal kick and that should be it for today there's the full time whistle 1-0 victory away from home in the Europa League first knockout round, first leg it's a great result I'm very pleased, well done good win for us so what I'm going to do is I don't want to leave you hanging on whether we qualify for the next round of the Europa League. I'm going to play the West Ham game offline and then I'll come back for the second leg of the Europa League tie against Standard Liège. So it's match day, it's leg two of the Europa League first knockout round against Standard Liège. But just before we get into that, we have played one game. We played the Premier League game against West Ham and it was atrocious. Got beat 3-0. Lanzini getting two, Andy Carroll getting the one. We never looked like winning. We looked absolutely knackered. Just couldn't, couldn't do anything really. Not a good result. We're still in eighth in the Premier League table, which is something. Also, Paul Scholes, who was our coach, has taken the Charlton Athletic job. So, we have signed a new coach. We have signed Colin Pascoe, who used to be at Liverpool. This gentleman here. Colin Pasco, he's got he's quite a good he should be quite a good coach for us. Replacing um Paul Schools training in technical. So training ball control, I believe. So we should be quite good at that. Uh, so we'll be we'll get right into the, the standard age game. So we get underway and of course we have a one goal lead from the first leg. Hopefully we can extend that at home. We should be winning. Tadic crosses it in back post towards long saved by Swagers what a name can't believe I didn't notice that in the first game Swagers he's got Swag Davis with a free kick crosses it in Font's there it's headed away by Timmermans but Davis got another chance to cross it in and he hits it towards the edge of the box to Veltman and he's played it back to Cedric Wanyama Font just slowly building play up here it's classy through to Psycho. Psycho crosses it Pele was there, but it's headed away when Yama collects it. Sadrick cross Pele off the bar. Off the bar and bounced on the line. I thought that was going to be Pele's first goal in a while. Pele. Davis. Gets tackled by Timmermans. Comes to Sadrick. Pele's there. Oh, saved again by Swagers. Pele looks like he could be about to break his goal scoring duck in this game. Of course, he hasn't scored in a long time. He did have a, a run of scoring a lot. It's just slowed down recently. Davis with a corner. Font's there. It's a corner. Another corner. Third in a row. Davis has taken it again. And it doesn't get past... I think it might be pronounced Simon. I said Simon in the last match. It's quite an English pronunciation. Considering he's Belgian. Also, Simone with a throw-in. Gives it straight to Pele. Pele with a chance to cross it now for Southampton. He gives it to Long. Long going to shoot. Maybe gives it to Classy. Classy shoots. Saved by Swagers again. He's having a great game. Pele collects but gets tackled by Simon. And he clears it up the field. Maton. Saved by Stecklenberg. I wasn't expecting that to be anything there. But Standard have won themselves a corner. Woits with the corner. Headed away by Wanyama and Classy's collected it now. Veltman with a free kick. Gives it to Long. Long running down the right now. Can he get a cross in? Oh, he gave the ball away, but when Yama's won it back, it's classy to Davis. Through to Tadic. It's defended well by Standard. The ball comes to Vasiko. Font. That's the end of that one. So half time and it's 0 0. Still winning our aggregate, of course. Um. Might have a solid lead, but that could all still change to keep the performance levels up. That's focused them all. Everyone's fitness seems okay. Tadic and Pele not having the best of games. Look into that as the second half wears on. Let's get into it. So Jordi Classy has picked up a a thigh strain. We bring in Romeo on for Classy as Classy has a thigh strain. Tadic to Wanyama. Classy. Pele. Through to Davis. Davis shoots. Saved by Swagers. 
So he's having a good game for standard. He throws it out to Dalberto, and that was the end of the highlight. So Romeo has come on for Jordi Classy. So we have a throw in on the left hand side. Visaiko gives it to Rodriguez, who I did bring on. Adebayo! Two substitutes there. Rodriguez and Adebayo linking up well. Rodriguez I brought on for Tadic and Adebayo I brought on for Pele. It's the first highlight we've had practically in like the last 30 minutes, if not the entire second half. I can't really remember. And this looks like it's about to be the full time whistle. There we go. Nil nil draw. But I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that, we've qualified. It's a good win. And it looks like we're going to be playing Liverpool in the next round. Next episode, we will have the Liverpool game in the Europa League and the Arsenal game in the Premier League. And then the episode after that, we will have Liverpool, second leg, and Everton, because Everton is a big league fixture for us. So next episode is Liverpool and Arsenal. That's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel so you get all my content as it comes out. I've got some great ideas coming up for when Football Manager, the full game, is released. And I can't wait for that. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.